Hello everybody, Sam Burr here. Welcome back to Al Samor. Now, in today's episode, we are going to be looking at the industry side. So I've actually gone ahead and made this new industry area where I've basically is expanded upon what we had uh, originally, which was which was a tiny little industrial area. And um, in this episode, we're going to expand it even more, and we're also going to just do a few things. We're just going to do a few things, designing it, managing some traffic, and um, it's just going to be really, really good because our city has actually really been lacking industry, and because we've got such a big city up and going now, we've got a really big regional area, suddenly there's this huge um, desire for industry and for jobs, and throughout building this whole series, there really hasn't been much demand for industry, which is been quite unusual and I don't know why it's been like that so suddenly there's a huge amount of demand you can see down the bottom there we've got a big orange bar there saying it's it's at hundred percent I actually have built other little areas around the map um, but it really hasn't even made a dent in the actual demand bar so there's still a huge amount and we will have to actually do a lot more and even though this area at the end you guys will see this is a huge industrial area the little bar down the bottom doesn't even change at all so there's still such a huge demand and um, I also enable the double industry policy whatever it's called it basically just doubles the amount of production even that doesn't really <laughs> doesn't really do anything but anyway so what we're doing right here since we are expanding this huge area we want to add in a easy little slip slip lane on and off and I love how it makes all those trees we're making an easy entrance and exit lane that goes directly into the industry area and directly straight out of it now we're using our bypass highway here and the, oh, the road is going weird there I don't know what was going on there but we're using this road here and um, this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this mini bypass highway road because I knew that there was going to be uh, an industrial area through here and if we didn't have this big bypass road through here could you guys imagine the traffic Oh, I don't want to I don't want to think about it I mean it would be fun to manage but I think it's just easier to have it like this and I know that we've got a entrance lane and an exit lane really close together there on the bypass road but that's all right I don't mind if it gets busy because then we can manage it and it's going to be um, quite interesting to manage that now this road here this is um, a road that I didn't want there to be any interference from the bypass road because this road is actually going to be a road that feeds into the actual city so all of the other roads that lead to and from the industry area they have some kind of connection to the highway or main roads so I wanted to have this road here because it goes under the highway and it doesn't have any other interference on it. So they can really go directly into the city and back to the industrial area and they just don't have to worry about going through um, the busier areas like big traffic lights and roundabouts and intersections, intersections and things like that. So it's really handy to have it like that in case they do want direct access going through there. I'm using the seawall, so you can do that through the seawall, and I mean, I think it's the seawall anarchy, or something, something anarchy, something like that, so, I don't know, something like that. It's in my, my, my mods list down below if you guys want to use that one. So you can see there's already quite a lot, but I do want to expand it a little bit more and um, the I purposely made the the little entrance lane from the highway go directly straight in because I don't want there to be any other interference. We also have the tram line going through here, so there is a tram station up there if they want to use that. I thought it's probably better to have a tram station right in the industrial area, but it's kind of an, an, an odd area because we have one directly to the right, which is right there, and we also have one to the left, which was shown in the last episode. So putting another one there just doesn't really seem like a good option because then it's kind of like we've got too many. But nonetheless, I still wanted to add in more industrial area to this random little spot. Now, these industry buildings, I'm not actually adding them to the main road, so they're going to be on this little road right here, which is right next to the tram line, because I don't want any other connections on that main road there. So all of those buildings, although they do look like they're actually on it, they're not actually on it. So, and they were on that one. Could you imagine they're going to be pulling in and out and there's going to be 
um, traffic waiting behind and it's just not going to be suitable so that's why uh, I built this other little road over here putting in a little hedge there just to make it prettier uh, it's probably more realistic to put like a normal fence because I mean do they really put hedges in industrial areas probably not but I don't know. I, I wanted there to be a little bit of a green aspect as well. I put a few three few trees throughout this area as well to make it look a little bit more green. So you can see the traffic is already building up through there. And um, we do have to do a little bit of management to get this flowing because we don't want the traffic to be building up back onto the highway because then that traffic on the highway, it's going to build up so fast. So what we have to do here is basically just guide them into the actual lane. And then what I'm doing here, I'm making sure that they can't crisscross and do really annoying things. I also allow them to go directly through the intersection so they're not going to slow down when they get to the intersection. They're just, they're just going to go straight through. Um, and then I also do give way signs so other traffic can't come in and directly interfere with them. So I want them to get off our mini highway, directly go into the industrial area, and there's not going to be much of a wait time and there's not going to be much interference. Now you'll notice a lot of traffic is going through here. Um, the issue was, I don't show it on camera, but the issue was that a lot of pedestrians, not pedestrians, just normal cars were trying to go through here. So I had to ban cars from using our highway exit. Um, once I did that, it basically got rid of all of our traffic issues through there because for some reason, instead of just using our mini highway, they wanted to use the industrial roads. I don't know. Uh, I also wanted to add in a little industrial area over here. And the reason is because I wanted to make it look like there's a little bit of extra growth on the other side of the highway. I didn't want all of the industry to just be on one side of the highway because I don't really like the look of it. I want to kind of blend in our industrial area with our surrounding areas. And by adding this little bit here on the other side of the highway, it will it will allow us to add it to, to blend it all in and it won't be as obvious. And I just think it looks a lot better like that as well. Okay, so that's that area done. Looks pretty good. A few trees in there to make it look nicer, I guess. And then we also put in some warehouses there. Um, it's an awkward spot, so I'm not really too fussed what goes in that space. So the, the overall workforce, you know, the amount of jobs, what am I trying to say? The amount of jobs for this area ends up being 2,116, which isn't a lot and it makes me think like what how many do we actually need to f to fix this demand down the bottom there in the bike you can see it's still way up high so what we need like 8,000 jobs like 10,000 jobs I don't know it's like it all just suddenly came out of nowhere and I was like excuse me where has this come from like you guys could have you could have told me this earlier so we could have put in more instead of having to do a big rush and do it all now like we do have our smaller industrial areas and they were kind of going well for the most part but then suddenly like this huge demand just came along and I was like oh geez so I don't know but I mean our population has boomed it's really shot up to it's up it's up to 120,000 already so I mean that's probably why why didn't I think of that but um yeah it does seem like the the industry demand did really just shoot up overnight and like caught me off guard so yeah if you see a lot of industrial areas pop up randomly throughout the next videos it just means that i've gone off camera i've kind of felt a bit desperate and i was like oh my god i need to do industrial areas really quickly quickly get some in there so there's a whole big production chain and that everything's working properly so if you do see anything else added in it's just because of that
So for this part here, I wanted to do something just a little bit different because we do have the fish market right there. So I assume there's going to be a lot of people coming into this area. So we will need some extra parking in the area. And I also wanted to make this parking lot road just because it'll help break up the look of the whole area area instead of it just being the industrial roads. It's, it's going to have this here, which is just going to be a little bit different um, and just something else to look at instead of the, the normal road there. And then to finish up, I just go through and add in some fences here and there into the, the awkward areas that don't really fit in much. It's kind of like my last resort thing, like, oh, I can't be bothered to go ahead and find extra little buildings to fit in there. So we'll just do a little fence off area, throw a few plants in there and pretty much call it a day. But it does actually look quite good doing it like that because it kind of, um, I don't really know how to, to describe it, but it just makes it look a little bit more polished. Also up the back of this area, I added in a little airport, which isn't an airport that's going to bring in people. It's just for the the fun of it, pretty much. I forget what it's called. And there is our traffic issue. So for some reason, they were all going through the industrial area instead of using the bypass road. But like I said, once I banned normal cars use from using our little uh, exit lane from the highway up there, pretty much it fixed itself up. Um, I also made sure that the speed limit on the bypass road was significantly faster than our industrial area speed limit. So once I did that, um, everything went so much better and that's pretty much it you guys. So I'll catch you all in the next one.